Hola, bienvenidos. Hola, mi gente, ¿cómo están? Sí, hola. Sí, hola. Sí, hola. <laughs> so today we're coming to you with a video that um, has a lot of really good information for any Mexican national that has a vehicle that is plated from the United States. Um, so you really want to check this video out. Sí, hoy tenemos unas buenas noticias para todos los que son nacionales aquí en México que tienen carros a este carros por el extranjero. Yeah, so um, stay tuned and we have some good news for you. Sí, este ve este video. All right, so let's get on to it. What is UCD Nacional? So I'm going to just explain that a little bit. Um, UCD Nacional is a non-government organization that helps Mexican nationals with illegal vehicles here in Mexico. So when you drive a vehicle from the United States to Mexico, this vehicle either needs to be legalized with um, the Mexican government and it has to have Mexican plates and verification and etc or this vehicle has to come in on a tip so the tip is a temporary permit for your vehicle that um, is good for six months and then when you leave mexico and go back to the united states after six months it expires so there are lots of mexican nationals that come back home to mexico with vehicles from the united states and they are not legalized for all different kinds of reasons. Some of those reasons are because the vehicle is too old. Sometimes the fees are extremely expensive. Um, sometimes the vehicles come in on a tip and then they don't ever go back to the United States, so that tip expires. There's all different kinds of reasons why there's illegal vehicles here in Mexico. Well, the UCD Nacional helps Mexican nationals, so anybody that has nationality here in Mexico, um, use those vehicles. Now, they can only use them in a few states, right? Yep. What are those states? Uh, Tamaulipas, Coahuila, Querétaro, Guanajuato, San Luis Potosí, so, este, Guadalajara, Jalisco, and Michoacán. Michoacán. So you name some cities too, but sí. they, all of these vehicles, if you get help from the UCD Nacional, you can use your vehicle in these states. So um, let's talk a little bit about how do you use them. You go and you have an appointment with your vehicle and you pay a registration fee for the whole entire year. We had that done on one of our vehicles that we brought down from the United States. And how much was it for the first year? The first year, 960 pesos. Okay. And so they gave us a license plate. A license plate and a sticker, the put on the windshield. Uh, and then you got one of these little cards. What yeah, is that? Yeah, this is like a... Like a... Identification. Identification. Just making sure it has his picture and stuff on it. Making sure that... He um, is the one driving the vehicle and everything. So like registration. Um, and then we just re renewed our registration with the UCD um, a couple of days ago. And it was the same fee. And that's going to cover us for a whole nother year where we can use this plate. Or I mean, sorry, this vehicle that's from the United States that didn't get legalized. We can use it in these states in central Mexico and then up east and north towards the border of Texas. So it's a really, really good organization. I, yeah, there's this huge need for um, people in your situation and other situations similar where you have United States vehicles and they're yours. You purchase them, you should be able to have a right to have them in your own country. Yeah. And that's what this organization is standing up for and making sure that that happens. So that's really, really nice, right? Sí. Yeah. Es muy, sí. muy bien. <laughs> so when he went and re-registered for the next year, Erasmo got some really good news. Um, that's been in the works for about six months. You want to share what it was? Yeah, it was uh, 
uh, get in legal life uh, vehicles in here in Mexico. Yeah, so all of these vehicles that are technically illegal but have UCD national license plates are maybe going to be legalized. Legalized, yeah. Um, and it's not even really a maybe. This has actually happened in the past. About 10 years ago, the president did the same thing. This is, yep. So this seems to happen like every 10 years. They address this situation. Yeah, they look forward to see how many vehicles there are here in the country and mm -hmm. they just decide they legalize the vehicles. Yeah. So yeah. that's really, really good. Really good news for any Mexican national that has a vehicle from the United States that is not legal yet here in Mexico. So another good thing with that is they kind of gave us an estimate about how this legalization is going to work and how much it's going to cost. Yeah. They, how much was it? Yeah, the cost about, was... This is an estimate. This is an <laughs> estimate of 2,500 pesos plus a feet. Mm, for each vehicle. For each vehicle. Okay. And Erasmo yeah. was telling me that actually customs and imports um, have to come down from the border to each of these states to do this. And they want to make sure that there is a great enough need to make it worth it. Right? Yeah. And the UCD nationality, they don't want to bring the vehicles over there because it's too much work to bring every vehicle right. to the border. So that's why the there is a, a NG and an NGC coming over here yeah. instead. Yeah. When we have two vehicles, we one that was legalized and one that came in on a tip. And the one that was legalized is in his name because he's the Mexican national. And then the tip was in my name um, because I was on a tourist visa. But when we legalized the other vehicle in Erasmo's name when we came home, that was about 66,000 pesos yeah. to legalize that vehicle. I don't even know how much that is in dollars. Could you estimate? The, a lot. Yeah, a lot, like 3,000 some. Like 3,000 US dollars. US dollars. To legalize a vehicle that we had already purchased and just wanted to bring it home with us. Yeah. So um, you can see why some people um, don't legalize vehicles at the border and just bring them home because you could buy a whole nother vehicle yes. use vehicle for that price yeah so yeah we were really excited to share this information with you um and we wanted to put the ucd national website out there it's www.ucdnacional.org and this is the website to the organization that can help anybody else that is in our situation or in similar. Yeah. So it's going to be coming soon. If you need that service, um, reach out to them and we wish you all the best of luck. Today it's been a little weird around here. Poor, poor Maya. She's been hurt twice today. Yeah, Maya. Yeah, once she went hands first into a cactus when the girls were playing soccer. And then she came home really upset and crying, and we were trying to um, get the prickers get out the of her stickers. Face. Yeah, out of her yeah. hands. And she kept like sitting like this, like ow, oh, ow. Oh, and it was yeah, so we sad. even used the flashlight. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> and then she got away from the table with her bowl of food, and it was a glass bowl, and it fell on the floor and broke. And then she cut her poor little hand. So it's been really, really interesting around here, really chaotic for me. Yeah, she's just had a bad day. She, after we got her all fixed up, she went upstairs and passed out. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> poor honey. We hope you all are doing well. We would love to have a live video um, soon with everybody to chit chat and say hi. Um, but until then, we will see you guys next time. Yeah, we we'll see you next time. Don't forget to put your thumbs up yes. and subscribe to our channel. And those beautiful comments. Yes, we we love the comments. As yeah. you can see, we try and respond to as many as we can. We really enjoy it. Be connect, being connected with all of our friends on YouTube. So, yeah. all right, we'll see you in our next video. Adios. Adios. Buenas noches. Mm -hmm.